Some call it a miracle on the gridiron. Others saying way too much money. But whichever side you're on, either way, Greg Schiano back as the head coach of the Scarlet Knights. And Monica Guy was at Rutgers for the big announcement. It's the deal that almost wasn't. Negotiations between Rutgers University and Greg Schiano broke down after three weeks of talks, only to be revived by a group of fans and boosters. And one of his biggest supporters was former player Eric Legrand. After my injury, seeing how he was stuck by my side and was, had my back and my family's back, you know, it makes you want to go to battle with him any day of the week. And to have him back home here in New Jersey, it's pretty cool. During his time as head coach from 2001 until 2011, Shiana raised the profile of the football program, but he's not resting on his past gains. Do you feel like you're here to finish what you started so many years ago? In some ways, yes, but really, it's such a different job. So I don't think it's finished what you started. It's a restart. The restart made possible by an eight-year deal for $32 million that includes perks like a country club membership and use of a private jet for recruiting trips if private funding is available. Rutgers will also build a new football facility comparable to other Big Ten university programs. The governor says the deal benefits the entire school. This is one of America's great public research and teaching universities. Uh, and all the resources that go with that. This is also a Big Ten athletic program uh, and all the resources that are required for that. Now that the Inks Dry Athletic Director Pat Hobbs says it's time to get to work. We've got a short window here for recruiting. We've got to put a staff together. Um, I, he needs my help in doing that and um, I know he's going to do a great job. So uh, we wanted to get this done as soon as the season concluded and it was very shortly after the season concluded. Uh, and now there's a lot of work to be done. That window of opportunity is a very short one indeed, closing on December 18th, signing day, the day when most high school players decide where they will play college ball. Reporting for Chasing News, I'm Monica Guy. Thanks, Monica. All right, let's bring in tonight's A-plus panel. We're joined by immigration attorney Afia Yunus. Great to see you, Afia. You too, Bill. And attorney and publisher of the Save Jersey blog, Matt Rooney. Good to see you, Matt. Good to be here, Bill. Matt, I'll start with you on this. I talked about it all morning on my radio show. I think that, uh, you know, this is almost Rutgers pretending that they're qualified for the Big Ten. <laughs> and uh, I can't believe such a generous guarantee for now the highest paid state worker in New Jersey. You were on fire this morning. I almost drove off the road. And, and, I, and I pretty much agree with you, Bill. I mean, look, just like companies need to pay a lot of money for CEOs to attract ta talent, Sometimes colleges need to do the same, but what's so offensive about this is that Rutgers is a public institution. They're taking my money, your money, to pay for all of this. I mean, you got Rutgers, a $4.3 billion budget, uh, nearly a billion dollars coming from the New Jersey taxpayers. This guy gets an eight-year guarantee, no matter how he does, of $25 million. And beyond that, the private jet, the golf course, the clothing allowance, it just goes on and on. And I may have argued a 68 and 67 record last time around at Rutgers. <laughs> Not such a great record, if you ask me. What do you think, Afia? Yeah, and I'm speaking for uh, a lot of people who really don't know much about college football in the sense that I see this number and it really makes me irate because I know it's the state taking money from my wallet and paying this guy. And um, I've never heard of Rutgers college football being like in the top 10. So. Our leaders have this obsession with one shot quick fixes. You know, if we if we pass this tax or we levy this regulation, somehow everything's going to be fine. Same thing here. Somehow we're all of a sudden going to be able to keep students, graduates in this state and get them paying taxes here, working here because we have a new football coach. I don't buy it. Well, I think that's my concern, too, is like, what's the output? We're putting all this money in and what are we going to see? Right. Thanks, guys.